Hello everyone, my name is Simon Yu, and welcome back to another video on the channel once again. Well guys, remember though, from, well, a while ago actually then, I made a video though, of my streaming and recording settings using my OBS over here that, that I am actually check record, recording right as of right now. And, well, well, I think that's pretty good video then, actually say the least then, to one of my subscribers then, don't, don't have to use the OBS 10, and, um, yeah, that was that was uh, um that was a while back actually then. And if you guys wanna 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 you know watch that then actually, I'll put the the video the link though in the description. If you guys want to actually watch that. Well, in this room actually then right now actually, we're going to actually well, you guys remember no my almost right now actually not actually um I do like you know custom diamonds a lot um all of them actually you see right now actually then they're created by me my own I I say my own actually then. Deciding my own thumbnail, very simple, but in I think it was days from that actually though, I did change the, my thumbnail layout then. And well it turns out it's really good actually then, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it actually though using the photo P. Photo P, okay? Photo P. <laughs> okay. It's the actual like it's like a thumbnail maker website ish. Don't whatever that is actually. So yeah, so we're going to go into that third person burma stand first over there. The um my what what I'm using the um what do I use then to make I'm just then you know cause some time don't stop what the heck not and also my video editor as well. So we're gonna go there for the last one after we check after I'll show you guys what what is my thumbnail maker? Why is my thumbnail looks like that? I even why is I'm gonna look like this, like this, like this. I don't, I'll show you guys how to do it actually though. So let's go to um the first one I'm gonna do actually then to show you guys right now is the photo P. Let's go over there. Alright then, so here we now here is we now actually though it's a um, photo P then that I want that I did mention. It's a um sort of a thumbnail maker though, but you get a lot of tools in your screen. And yeah, if you guys wanna use this actually though to make your very own thumbnails then make it even more better though actually. I'll put that I'll put that in the um in the description guys if you guys want to test it out for yourself then and make your own dynamos then actually. So we're doing right now here and now just show you guys how to actually use this then actually for those who don't know how to do it actually just right away. So here as you can see right now when I open this actually though, it's just nothing and you only can see this photo be the subject, blah 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 blah, you know, stuff like that. So the first thing you need to do here is on the top left on your screen. There it is. This is where this is the word file. You better click on it actually though. You better click on it actually. Or this one we get you get a lot of choices over here then. But the only thing that matters though actually though is new. Or want to do control uh alt control and then plus n. It, sh it shows how to do it actually then, but for me though, new project indeed. And once you click that, it will pop up something. Hopefully my uh, I also will actually do it. This one will pop up. So this was it's called new watch actually then. And how to make thumbnails actually you guys to remember how to make thumbnails then in a legit way. I mean just just put a name though. It, 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 any you want actually then so yeah that's why. And the most important thing is the amount the, the width and the height. The width is gonna be twelve eighty by the height though actually, that's the width, 1280, the height is 720, so 1280 by 720, so yeah, so better choose this over here, yep, the width is supposed to be at 1280, and the height though is going to be at 720, so the, the the background then should be white then, don't remember actually though, because it, it, all, it auto selects for you actually, so put that into white, so once you do that, click create and once you click though and you'll, yep there he is it pop up the white background then filled with nothing so we also don't know how to actually like you know like put screenshots actually then i mean you can put anything anything actually though, like a scroll screenshot then or or maybe you know a screenshot of your desktop something like that any stuff like that actually then so what you're going to actually though is to go back again file but this time we're going to open 
and place besides open and open more so click this over here and it will pop up this over here then there he is see we see what we know actually then yep it will pop up this over here then just um that's what it is actually and let me take a look actually because there's so many things over here so what we're gonna do now is to put just put any thumbnail or any screenshot you have then or maybe in roblox so you have any screenshots on roblox then just do that but for me then same as well though roblox screenshot as for always then just choose i want to choose anything i want to know actually here so maybe maybe probably uh probably this one and once you chose the screenshot then that's gonna pop up right now on that and as you can see it's not that perfect actually that for um, actually so you see these sides over here that they're absolutely not in the perfect way so i want to gonna drag over here then watch the left and the right and there is going to be your thumbnail right now actually then so i'll see right now though your thumbnail is going to be very it's, it's just normal actually so what we're going to do actually then okay what we're going to do is to go down here this is called blur tool besides the um the granite tool and the dodge tool so click on click on this blur tool over here there's some you see something up here on the top left corner so the first thing you need to do is to um you see this word strength okay see this the word strength make this to 100 percent you will see why okay you will see why and go over this one actually though and you see this word size yes that's the word size make that to a thousand yep you see that the huge circle though that is so big so once you do all that stuff then um just click on it actually though and it will pop up something okay it'll pop up actually though yep since there uh yeah says said smart object mommy uh, must be sisterized first yes just just hit the clay though just uh don't really matter actually by the way then and once you do that watch the screenshot in your screen right now what will happen as soon as i um hold it up as soon as i um hold hold down left quick actually here watch it just blurred the whole screenshot you just taken just blurred I mean you can barely see anything actually but you can't see anything then so if you want to get out of this one actually then just go here though just go move to by the way then if you don't match just go move to by the way then just go here if, you, if you're stuck over there actually for there and we're going to file once again but make sure if you have your actual avatar actually, actually your robux avatar actually go back here for the file and open and place we're going to the I mean, also let's, let's, let's use though um, this one here. Yes, yeah, this, this one actually my my <laughs> beautiful avatar then. Let's look sick. Let's, let's look sick. And um, so here, once you have your avatar then, this is just a um, I think the you know my avatar actually then. So what you gotta do is to click over here then. See this one is actually on. It's on to it right. Right click it. And you have a lot of options over here but the whole thing that matters guys is the blending options click on that and it's gonna pop up this one is called layer style so watch what happened actually though to my avatar by the way then want to go into the third one called stroke no it's not a, it's not i'm not having a mouse stroke not that <laughs> please don't call me peter um yeah the word stroke and check that off then watch what happened to my avatar you see those red over there that's like um i think like out i like that though actually so here for a stroke actually though but i recommend actually do it at eight and there you go that's there is yeah put it at eight then i mean it depends on you actually though it depends on you and the color doesn't matter actually because for me it's gonna be red or just to choose any color you want actually just just it's like black, gray, or you know, look, look, look at my avatar. As soon as I'm moving around this color picker, there it changes color, but change to black. It's just a an ordinary choice, guys. I'm gonna go through the, over here. It's completely different. This one, 
It is insane. Yeah, so you can just, just, you can just, um, you can just pick any color you want. Don't really matter actually then, so yeah. And then once you've done that, yeah, I bet it actually they'll just click OK then. And then, out of here, OK. So, the question we might get to answer this, I mean how to put text in your thumbnails. Well, go down here on the top left to toward this website here. There's a letter T there, there's, there's, there's a T symbol called Type Tool. Click on that. And I before we're gonna do actually then, I recommend though, use a um a font. This is called a font. A uh, mine is gonna be Firecat, so I recommend actually using that by the way that actually you guys want to. So what you gotta do just just drag beside just a little bit of over here to my avatar then. And you see that thing over there. So I'm gonna drag it all the way over here. And stop. So I'm gonna type actually you just I'm gonna call it sample thumbnail. Alright. I mean it's just a um you know sample. Okay. So what you're gonna do actually though as you can see we're in a size of 24. But how to make it large? You see over here the word size and um, I recommend putting it at 48 and watch a text there. It gets bigger. So so what you're gonna do then is just go to back to the move tool then, drag over here, and you see it's all black stuff like that then. So do it again, the same thing as your Roblox avatar. Right click over here, blending settings, stroke, and just um, just pick any color you want, actually don't matter though, but for me it's green, and hit OK. Or I, I, I think I didn't do it for Gatos actually, but there it is actually, there it is. Yep, there it is boys, yep. Yeah, just pick any call you want. Actually, I'll just click this one here and hit OK and then hit OK. Boom. That is not that is now your thumbnail already. And you can actually ready to go right now and actually um use this for your videos or maybe even live streams then actually. But the question is actually though, how in the heck you're going to save this? Very simple. Go back to where you belong. File. Under that export as I recommend doing this PNG all right and once you do that actually then just click on it actually no matter and you see it's just a, just you see though it's just a preview of your um, thumbnail by the way then yeah make sure the quality is at a hundred percent and um, so yeah and once you once you're ready to go actually just click save it will automatically okay it will automatically save in your computer actually though so yeah, and well, how do I actually know that your thumbnail is already saved? So, so I'm gonna use this magic button over here. What I actually use right now? Go over here. Actually, this over here. Go to downloads. And yeah, I know I have a lot of stuff over here, so, so please don't mind me. This one over here right now. This is the one and all that matters. This is my thumbnail over there, though. So once you have, once you see your thumbnail, actually, then. It's gonna save at downloads. So once you see it download, just go and yeah. It automatically saves then doesn't matter guys. It just automatically saves there on the downloads. So you can actually use it though once you upload a video or make make it a live something like that then. So yeah. Yeah, I know I have a lot of stuff in now, so please don't judge me. Yeah, one thousand five hundred and seventy one items on this down on this downloads is insane. So yeah, so once you see it uh, when you see your uh, actually they'll just go and use it actually though when you're uploading a vid or making a live stream stuff like that actually then it's completely up to you though so actually so yeah so that is all the things then on here actually though and I actually learned this though from my friend Doodle Place though um he's actually uses actually though, I don't know, I don't know for how long actually then probably a year oh no but yeah this is the one that Doodle always uses every time to make you know understand you know so yeah so we're going to my video editor you know what is actually then let's go there then let's go there and to find out all right so we are back once again boys so this once you um um start up the um this is what it, this is called filmora x this is another video editor that doodle always used yeah don't mind my freaking 
wallpaper in the background, so please don't, please don't mind that actually. What you shouldn't mind though is over there that is in your screen right now. So yeah, so once you got it, actually, though, actually, just just click new project and make sure though the select the select project aspect ratio is gonna be on wide screen, um, sixteen by nine. So click um, just click new project and it will pop up this. Press simple actually, then yep, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be the entire thing actually though. So here is how to actually um put videos actually though. So what you gotta so once you gotta actually though is to click. Or just click over here, actually, don't you see this over here, my cursor. Just click here. And you're gonna go to videos, actually, then I'm gonna go pick a uh, video that I did have, actually, no. Um, uh, I think you just see YouTube videos then. Um, probably, uh, this one. Yep, so just once you, once you pick your video, actually, don't just watch, just, um, let it import there, and there he is. So, to actually, um, black out the green screen, though, that is the only thing I know just go to just oh just do that oh thing by the way I'm not I'm not gonna say this right now at the moment then so please don't do that yeah I, I mean for me actually though I'm not gonna save it actually because it's just a um tutorial slash sample you know stuff like, stuff like that so here my intro actually then has a green screen I just want actually let's just uh, pick that thing in yeah as you can see my intro has a green screen in it so how to actually remove that? Go down here, right click it, and you have a lot of options then. The only thing that matters guys, right now is over here, green screen. Watch that green screen over there. It will disappear. Boom, look at that. Yes, the green screen has been disappeared now. And select color by the way though, I recommend doing over here, this one over here. Um, dark green, I'm assuming. And once I play this, by the way, I want to turn this down, actually, I don't mind that. Once you play the intro, then... Look at that. No green screen whatsoever. Look at that. And towards the end of it, though... Yeah, I'm just going to play the, the old... You know, in my intro, by the way, actually. And it's going to stop. No... You can't see green screen ever. So, yeah. So... And once you've done that, you're gonna go drag your um your video over here. I wanna do my own thing over here. That's just right then. Yeah, I wanna do I wanna do my own thing over here then. So yeah. So, how do you actually make your video even more better? So well, so what you're gonna what you gotta do actually then is to go to uh transition. Okay. And for me actually there's a lot of options you can actually go over here. Look at this. You know the you know the, this all the fade the flash the bar cube heart. There's a lot of options over here. 3D. As th there's a lot of options. Here. Just, just trust me. Look at this. A lot of options over here. Plain or uh, yeah, look at that lifestyle rap speed blur stuff like that. That's so insane. So for me actually though, it's gonna be a box turn one. It's gonna be found in the 3D. I'm assuming yeah here 3D. So yeah, I'm just one. Oh wait, yeah 3D. Yeah yeah, yeah 3D. So, drag this over here. If you want to play this actually again, watch my video actually. It activates the transition. There he is. So, yeah. Let's do it one more time just for you guys then. Look at that. Just like, just like an instant, dude. That's insane. So, right now then. So, not for now. How do I supposed to put... um? Subtitles that you that's in that's in my um, pre previous video actually though that I did made. So go into titles, and you see a video as it's called um what is this called? Um subtitle eight. So that is from oh no oh, um yeah here under titles though by the way then wait no under subtitles excuse me <laughs> under subtitles sorry yeah under subtitles yeah I pick the number eight. So just drag it above the video then. Over here. Above this over here. And then just yeah, right click though and go to advanced edit. And then you will see this pop up over here that is gonna be in your screen right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say this actually actually though, just say um hello, hello everyone. Just like nope, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. So here, um the font I'm going to use then 
or maybe if you guys want to use it for you guys right now, is called N Pack. And uh, the size will be at 48, same as same as well. To make it easy, to make to make sure that everybody sees the text then slash subtitle actually. So once you do that, hit OK. And if we want to see there he is though, as you see the sub uh, is there. There he is. Once we um play this video, I'm assuming. Yep, there he goes. It's going. There he is. And then at the end it will gone. So yeah, that's why. And for just a little bit of a uh, transformation. I wanna go to FX. You can use this though also too as well. But for me actually though is for me actually is Chromatic aberration. The heck am I saying right now? Actually, actually. <laughs> so here, what will happen then? As soon as we go here, it's gonna do something. Watch the video over here. It's gl it's glitching. Yep, as they call effects. <laughs> yeah, it's very so sick though, actually. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Just, there's a, a lot of options over here, such as the strong glitch, the 70s. I mean, the, I mean hey, <laughs> depends on you actually then. Yeah, there's a lot of actually. There's, like, there's charcoal, there's glitch pixels, there's film, there's shine, or whatever it is actually then. But yes, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, it's actually in this then. But let's do one, one more time. One more time. One more time. Boom. Yeah. Don't tell that's so sick. And anyway then, so how do you actually put some, you know, uh, some music actually? Go to audio and go to my, yep, under there, my music. And then I'm going to put a song. Well, for me, it's going to be Netflix Cold. And I'm going to put that, well, uh, put that right there. And make sure, be careful, guys. Though once you create a video, make sure that your your video, your music will cut short, because oh man, because, because otherwise your video then will um, extend more time. You will see a freaking black screen at the end. So, so what you gotta do is just just drag over here to the end. Don't matter though. Just, just click on this over there, over here, and just drag it over here. Bypass my outro real quick. There we go. And then you gonna so you gonna hear the the music actually then oh, I'll show you guys real quick then actually hold on okay I'll hear you guys the uh, the music just over hold on after the music oh, actually I'm just I'm just uh, put it a little bit more louder so here we go. So yeah, the song that the music actually you know, once you put over there, it will automatically play it actually. Once it go goes there, yep. And it will. I mean, you also put it like I think, you know, make it like um not loud actually. So just drag over here as you can see. <laughs> then I'm going to do actually then, and if you want to play it again, it's gonna be a little bit more a little bit more loud actually, and. A little bit more louder, actually. Just keeps us going, keeps on going and going and going. Yeah. So yeah. Everybody. Knows. So that is how to make your own. Yep. Your own video, actually, then using the Filmora X. And it's been days right now since I used this actually. So, you know what? I'm getting through actually. Then I'm getting actually know about this then, and I'm actually doing it right now so far on this actually then. So yeah. So that is all I would right now right now here actually right now guys right now. Um what is what I'm that I'm currently using and what is my well my video editor is for more X and I'm not gonna actually save it because like I said it's just a, a um, sample of uh, how I did so yeah. Well we're gonna end this video this video without actually not, actually guys if this video is actually helpful right now actually for you Make sure to hit the like button down below. And also, also, please subscribe, guys. And, uh, yep. We'll see you all in the next one.